Hi friend, welcome to the company law education and appeal series. Today we are discussing a Delhi ROC adjudication order for the violation of section 10A of the company's act, that is the commencement of the business, that is the failure to file a declaration of, for the commencement of business and uh, after uh, expiry of the period, ROC strike of the name of the company and one of the director uh, filed petition to Delhi I put and Delhi uh, I could pass the order uh, restoring the name of the company. And uh, after that, uh, Delhi ROC considering the Delhi, R uh, Delhi ROC considering the Delhi High Court uh, order and restoring the name uh, by the by uh, imposing penalty uh, on the company and uh, officer in default director. Let's see the adjudication order copy. This adjudication order passed on the 17th April uh, 2023. And uh, as per uh, this adjudication order, there is the violation of section 10A of the company's act. Let's see the facts of the company. The company uh, uh, is uh, uh, having registered office uh, at Gurugrav, Haryana. And uh, facts of the case that the company incorporated on uh, 3rd uh, September uh, 2020 as per uh, and as per section 10 a read with the section 248 subsection 1d where uh, uh, roc has reasonable cause to believe that uh that not commence the business within the 180 days then uh, strike of the company from the registrar of the uh, registrar uh, register of company uh, as in mca record and uh, uh, here, section 10A and section uh, uh, read with the section 248, subsection 1D of the act, that is the fail to file declaration for the commencement of business, uh, that is from INC 20A on or before uh, 2nd uh, March 2021, uh, that is the uh, within 180 days from the date of its incorporation. Therefore, applying section 10A read with the section 248, uh, subsection 1D, a uh, name of the company was uh, stuck of. Uh, on 13th uh, December uh, 2022. And a read petition uh, was filed by the one of the director before the Honorable Delhi I court challenging the striking of, of, uh, of the name of the said company from the ROC. And Honorable High Court has passed an order on 29th March 2023, a relevant extract given here. Without treating the present case as a precedent, the following direction are uh, uh, accordingly issued. A petitioner shall deposit a sum of one lakh each for uh, each of the companies as a pro team deposit of penalty under section 10 A subsection 2. The said deposit shall be made within one week upon which name of the company said shall be restored. This is the order copy. And along with the deposit, a representation shall be made by each of the company in terms of section 248. The side act that is to ROC. The side representation shall be uh, shall then be uh, considered by the ROC and any penalty in accordance with the provision of the company's act and rules shall be imposed. This is the order copy. And upon deposit of one lakh by each uh, by each company, the ROC shall remove the freezing order and the company shall permitted to operate their bank account during their uh, their uh, daily course of business. And accordingly, accordingly the, the Delhi I court passed the order. Company submitted a letter on 3rd uh, April 2023 along with the ch uh, Chalan copy of 1 lakh requesting to un unfreeze the bank account of the company. Subsequently, a letter for deep freezing of the bank account was sent to the concerned bank and uh, account were uh, decreased. In terms of the order passed by the Honorable uh, uh, High Court, a representation under Section 258 has been submitted by the company on the 5th April 2023 and 6th April 2023 that as per the request made by the applicant, a hearing in the matter was scheduled on 12th April, which was further as on for 13th April and on 13th April, a uh, uh, petitioner uh, director and uh, authorized representative appeared before the uh, Arushi and argued that their company is a small company under the act and therefore the benefit of section 446B ought to be provided to them at the 
time of leaving the penalty. But it is noted that companies has neither filed the financial statement for the financial year 2020, 21, and 21, 22, nor filed the annual return for the same period. Therefore, the undersigned is a not in a position conclusively uh, to determine as to whether the company is a small company or not, because there is no public court available with the MCA. Taking into account the facts of the case, including the submission made, it is noted that there is a violation of Section 10A, uh, Subsection 1 of the Companies Act, and liability arise under Section 10A, Subsection 2 of the Act. Uh, and as far as uh, here, uh, the, the uh, extract of the Section 10A of the Company Act, a company incorporated after a uh, company of in 2019 and having share capital shall not commence any business or sign any body power unless a declaration. Uh, is filed by the director within the period of 180 days. And if a default is made in the complying of this requirement, the company shall be liable to penalty of 50,000 rupees and every officer who is in default shall be liable to penalty of 1,000 rupees for each day during which such default continue, but not exceeding an amount of 1 lakh rupees. And here, education order was uh, passed uh, for, uh, on the uh, penalty imposed on the company, that is the, there is a default, that is the uh, uh, due date of the filing, uh, last due date of filing of the uh, form 20A, is 2nd uh, March 2021 to 13th uh, uh, December 2022, that is 651 days. That is the total penalty here is imposed on the 50,000 of the company, that is 50,000. Not considering section 446, which uh, is a lesser penalty because uh, uh, this is not considered as a small company as per the MCA, uh, by the MCA. And on the officer default, default, there is the 1,000 per day, that is the maximum penalty imposed on the, uh, the director, officer in default, 1 lakh. And one of the directors, uh, petitioner director, is filed a uh, petition to high court. There is the, uh, here, penalty imposed on that director is nil because as a rebel high court, by order uh, 29th uh, March 2023, has already levied penalty of 1 lakh on the petitioner. Therefore, no more penalty is being levied here. So this is the order copy and name of the party as mentioned above, hereby directed to pay the penalty amount uh, as given. Uh, and in case of the party other than the company, such amount is required to pay out of their own fund. The penalty in the present matter has been levied in, in compliance with the direction issued by the High Court order. And after due examination, the representation made by the company in terms of the honorable high court to activate the stock of status of the company and upon payment of the penalty as indicated above, a reference would be made to the MCA headquarter for amending the status of company as active. The side penalty uh, paid to the uh, online uh, mode within the 90 days from the receipt of the this order and intimate this office with proof of the penalty paid and if appeal is uh, if any appeal, they will file appeal within the 60 days from the date of receipt of this order and non compliance of this uh, order attacks section 454, subsection 8 from the company and option default in the event of non compliance of this order. Thank you so much for watching this order. You may refer uh, legal provision of section 10A of the company. Yet. This is the non commencement of the uh, uh, business within the prescribed time period and here uh, strike of the company. Thank you so much for watching this update.